guys, I need your help. Romina's birthday is coming up and I don't know what to get her. I go through the same thing every single year. Don't know what to get her, whether it's a birthday, whether it's Christmas, whether it's Valentine's Day, or whether it's just a I love you gift. I suck at it. You're connected with me on this, right? I can't be the only one. If you struggle like other men to get your lady or ladies gifts, yeah, that works. And you just simply don't know what to get them. I gotta stop talking plural. That is so wrong. So if any of you watching this right now tend to have the same problem like myself at times, there's such a great solution. And the wonderful thing about it, guys, is this solution comes from our very own subscriber of the DBP squad. And he wants you to go visit Yacho. Yacho is going to be a free app for iOS and Android that is going to allow you to connect and find the perfect gifts for your loved one loved ones like i said guys this app is 100 percent free so there is no credit card no debit card none of that needed whatsoever users are going to sign up directly with yacho.com and i'm going to have a link in the description make sure you use that link and help our boy out with the dvp squad he designed this app himself ask you some simple questions about your girlfriend so we can pick related topics and related items from etsy amazon and some other really big retailers to provide for you guarantee you this app will save some of your butts out there so go down Download it. Thank you Yasha for sponsoring this video and let's get into it. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you guys another video and thank you guys so much for tuning back in for Tuesday's upload. And as you guys can see behind me, we have good old Blucifer here and today's video is going to be just that Blucifer. No Bluetooth valve today. All right, well maybe just a little bit of Bluetooth valve. As you guys can see, we still have the bumper off. We started messing with the intercooler in yesterday's video and if you guys haven't watched that video, please go watch it right after this video. There's going to be a card up in the corner there, but we are making some great progress on Bluetooth valve and just waiting on some parts at the moment. But like I said, guys, today's video is going to be revolving around Blucifer here. It's been a hot minute since I showed this car some love. Let me go ahead and show you exactly what we'll be doing today to Blucifer. And this one is a fun one. It's not needed. It's kind of unnecessary, I guess you could say, but it's fun. And that's what this is all about. So take a look. So guys, I recently got a box in the mail from a guy named Sean Foster, and he has his own little aftermarket business. And inside this box, we can go ahead and open and you're gonna notice I have this weird looking tubing thing. We can go ahead and set that aside. And I'm gonna have another little bag full of goodies and we're gonna crack this open and go into great detail about each little thing. This is what they call a sound tube, a modification for supercharged applications. Yeah, I guess it's all in the name, sound tube. And I'm gonna go ahead and explain that to you guys right now. I've introduced to you Big Bertha before, correct? Well, if not guys, this is my VMP Gen 3R supercharger, VMP represent. And I recently just got this thing installed probably four months ago, five months ago. Has it really been that long? As many of you may have already seen in that little mini series I made on our trip to Florida to visit VMP to get this installed because clearly the blower sitting on the car right here and look how good this thing looks for those of you that know the different types of superchargers I want to say there's like two or three you have like a twin screw root style and then you have the centrifugal and this one's clearly not a centrifugal so with that being said a lot of people including myself expected a lot of whining kind of like this <laughs> So here's the thing guys, this blower is more than capable of sounding like a freaking jet engine like the Terminator Cobras, but the thing about this blower is it is massive and this is a stock Gen 1 short block. They're not going to mix quite well, especially when some whining occurs because whining is going to be the resistance and it's going to be the turbulence in the blower and with this pulley, we are running VMP's 88 millimeter pulley and this is the second biggest one they provide for the VMP Gen 3R, meaning this blower is barely working to make 722 horsepower on this Gen 1. <laughs> So, if it's barely working, barely whining. Now, if we were going to go ahead and pulley this thing down and absolutely send it to SpaceX, it would whine its tail off, like no tomorrow. But unfortunately, guys, where this car sits and its capabilities, you know, 722 horsepower is a lot, but we do have a super, super, super efficient blower on here. Therefore, like I said, this thing's barely working to make that power, and it's just not going to be whining like crazy. But that's exactly where Sean Foster's sound tube modification comes into play. Let's take a look at what was sent to us. So as you guys already saw, we have our sound tube here. 
here and this is going to be fed into the firewall and it's going to be connected to the JLT intake that is on the blower. We're going to go more than that in just a moment. But inside this baggie are some extra goodies and we can go ahead and open this up. And first thing is we're going to have our little elbow that's going to be popped into the intake so we can set that aside we're also gonna have some beater lube for those single guys out there you know exactly what this is we're gonna have two little rubber grommets it's gonna allow the tube and everything else to sit nice and flush nice and tight and then we have some zip ties that are gonna give us some extra oomph on the tube just to make sure it holds in place as best as possible but they're really not necessary but we're gonna do it anyway next we're gonna have our handy dandy drill bit we are gonna have to drill into the intake which is the scariest part about this installation we have a razor blade that was provided and last but not least guys I don't know exactly what you call this we do have tape on it but I'm gonna go and take that off for you but this is gonna be I think what they say the diaphragm it's like this very very thin piece of plastic on this tube and like I said this is going to be fed into the firewall and this is going to meet it on the inside of the cabin and we're obviously going to put it on nice and tight and this is where the sound is actually going to be transferred from the intake because the blower is going to be sucking in a massive amount of air and that's where you're going to get your little whining noise from which is really cool especially for the driver and the driving experience the passenger you know you can hear the blower whine one thing to keep in mind this kit right here will not Louden the wine noise from outside of the car. This is all gonna be you know kind of a driver's treat So to say the more and more I think about this the more and more I don't want to do it But I do at the same time it doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> we're gonna roll with it But as I was saying guys, we are gonna go On a quick little ride. I want you guys to actually listen and experience it without the sound tube. It ought to be fun <laughs> anything too crazy I'm not trying to get in trouble they put a speedo there wonder who that's about as you can tell no wine it's second into third As you can tell guys there was no wine let's go ahead and fix that go ahead and move our clutch reservoir out of the way So we got that off, and as you can see, that's just gonna hang there. I'm gonna put these in my pocket. So now that we got our open hole there, I went ahead and applied the drill bit to the drill because we have to get it to, what's the reading on here? We're gonna feed the tube and set it into place as if it's already mounted. So this elbow piece right here is gonna be the piece that goes into the JLT along with this grommet. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drill the hole and you know line the hole with this and it's gonna be a nice snug fit. So we gotta see where we're gonna want this to be. I made my little mark on the JLT where I'm gonna need to do the drilling. Now we're gonna loosen our little clamp here. I swear these things are the biggest pain. I'm just gonna release the filter off of it. Right, and our JLT should come out freely. I don't know if you can see it, but there's my little mark. And that's where I'm gonna drill. Here goes nothing. It's a done deal now, guys. We have to commit. We have our first little hole right there. Now I'm gonna follow it up with this big Bertha drill bit. And this is where it gets really nerve wracking, because if I go past one fourth. All right, so we have our hole. <laughs> And this hurts my heart so much. We are right where we need to be. Maybe even have to go a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna try to work with this first. You know, I'm actually gonna use a little piece of sandpaper. I think that's gonna be much easier than that. Off camera, I actually got the grommet in there and it is seated so well. So I'm just gonna go and double check, triple check, just to make sure that it's seated as best as it could possibly be. 
All right, we got it. And my God, that is a extremely tight fit, and I'm very, very satisfied with that. That's with a ton of lube on it. Oh yeah, guys. Factory, look at that gap. Sean Foster, tight as fuck. <laughs> We're gonna want it kind of on an angle like that. Just like that. We're pretty much done, guys. Let's go do this. Well, there it is. Um, we just installed the Sean Foster Sound 2 mod on my VMP Gen 3R. Everything seems to be back in place. I bolted that down. I tightened the filter back to the JLT. I got this little vacuum line running right there. Mass airflow is plugged in and locked. These clamps are tightened. And down in here, I have my sound tube. Let me make sure that's sitting flush, which feels good. And then it's gonna run underneath into the firewall. I put the diaphragm on, and by the way, guys, that was nearly impossible to show you guys while doing that. This seems nice and tight. It's not touching anything. Yeah, um. All right, idle seems good. Nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know guys, I think, I think we're good. It sounds great, let's go for a drive. I don't feel anything different quite yet and I'm hoping I don't, cause I shouldn't. All right, so we're gonna give it our first test right now. I'm gonna throw it in second and I'm gonna hit it. Here we go. I couldn't really hear much. My car is so damn loud. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. I mean, everything's in the right spot. I'm like drawing a blank right now. I have no idea. Yeah, my car is just so freaking loud, dude. All right, we're gonna put the windows up. hear that one hey at least i'm hearing a little bit of whine but i'm not even gonna front guys with the windows down i couldn't hear a freaking thing so the conclusions i've come to guys is one my car is extremely loud with the windows down so you can't hear it at all and conclusion number two is you know i just got such a big pulley on there and this blower is barely doing any work to make 722 therefore there's not a lot of sound a lot of whine and I'm okay with that though. I'm okay with that. Well, there you have it guys. That's gonna go ahead and conclude today's video. As far as Sean Foster's sound tube mod, I definitely think it's high quality. And if you are pushing a lot of boost, I definitely recommend doing it. Yeah, it was pretty cool hearing that. So thank you, Sean, for the product. Make sure you guys go check it out if you want one. And today's DBP vlog shout out is going out to Sterling 4.6. Thank you so much for your continued support, man. And make sure you guys go check him out on the gram. And if any of you guys want a chance to win a shout out on these vlogs, I do them every single time. All you have to do is go to Instagram and follow me at Derek Brand Productions. It's right there on the screen and whenever you post a photo just make sure you use the hashtag at DVP squad and all your posts thank you guys again so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow 8 p.m eastern time for another video but until next time we'll see you later